Uh, Zorks, you've got some news that you want to announce to the club? Yeah, obviously, um, sort of saddens me a little bit, but I've decided to step away um, as captain of the football club. Um, it's been a, a tough decision, um, but I certainly think it's the right decision, um, not only for the club, but for myself as well. Obviously, coming into the latter half of my career, and um, we've got some great emerging young players coming through, and especially in that leadership role. And um, one thing I didn't want to do was Fags have to come and tap me on the shoulder and make that decision even harder. So, um, in discussions with Fag and obviously Danny Daly uh, and a couple of other players in our list as well, sat down, had a chat to them, and we just thought the time was right now. Um, the club's in a really healthy spot, and. Uh, more than happy to step away and let the next crop come through. You'll hand over the reins as just the fourth player in Brisbane Lions history to captain 100 games. And as the captain who, who helped our team come from the bottom to competing in September year on year, that must be something you're immensely proud of. Yeah, I'm super proud of that, really am. Um, you know, when I took over the reins, I'm not sure what our win-loss record was that year, but it, we ended up winning a couple at the back end of it, which was great. And then I think the following year we finished second on the ladder and. From there, we've been able to really establish our, this group, you know, in the top half of the of the table, especially for the last four years. And I'm super proud that I've been able to to lead that charge and and help culture, culturally change the shift um, amongst the players and, and and the club as well. Um, I feel like when you take over the captaincy of a club, um, you really have to give yourself over to the whole entire club, whether that's the playing group, the staff, the coaches, the whole football department. Um, and I took that really personally and I wanted to make sure that I could do it as best as possible and um, hopefully I've done that and hopefully I've paved the way for our next leader to come in and, and continue on that um, sort of legacy that I sort of left. And I mean just on that, in your time there's been a lot of young players develop and, and show those really great leadership qualities. Do you feel like the club's well placed for the next chapter? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, you know, we've got guys like Harris Andrews, Hugh McCluggage, Jared Berry, Cam Rayner. Um, the list goes on. We've got even Darcy Wilmot throwing his hand up now and um, he has got a, a lot of great leadership qualities. But we've still got a great mix of um, older people as well. I think we've got Daniel Rich, Ryan Lester, um, Link McCarthy, Joe Danaher, Lockie. Um, and then we've added in Jack Gunson and Josh Dunkley as well. So there's a really great mix and balance of players and leaders at our club at the moment. And um, for me now to sit over the top of that and sort of help shape and help guide the guys in the path they want to lead down, um, I'm really comfortable with that and um, hopefully I can still play some good football and um, help them along the way. And personally now for you, what's the focus in 2023? Yeah, obviously get, keep, continue to get my body right. Obviously we've got a little bit of a hiccup at the moment but that's tracking really, really well and um, I think for me I just want to play good football again. I'm, my body hasn't been the healthiest of, of times over the past three years but now I've got a really great opportunity to just knuckle in on that and um, get back to playing the football that I know I certainly can. And um, I've had a really, really good pre-season, the best I've had for a number of years. So um, I'm in really good shape, really healthy, and um, as I said, hoping I can help the team as much as I can this year.